Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you why the sky is blue and why the sun looks yellow even though it's actually a white star. So in order to simulate the sky, you just get some water and pour some milk in it. The first thing you'll notice is that this water milk mixture doesn't actually look white anymore. It actually looks blue. Okay, so first let me shine the light behind my tank of water here. Notice how it looks totally white on the back wall here. But now watch what happens when I shine it through the liquid. It becomes this orangish red color, almost the exact color of a sunset. But you'll notice the liquid itself is still bright blue. So the liquid is blue and the light going through it ends up red. The same thing happens if I shine the light at the camera. Notice how it's this bright white up here. So here's white, move it down, and it becomes this yellowish orange red color. Notice how it starts off as this bright white here and then ends up as this reddish color. How is this happening? Why does this liquid appear blue, but the light that comes out of it look red? What's happening here is the same thing that's actually happening in the sky. These milk particles are scattering blue light, just like the air in our atmosphere scatters blue light. So this type of scattering is called Rayleigh scattering, and it's applicable for molecules the size of air molecules like nitrogen and oxygen, all the way up to particles about a tenth the wavelength of light. So that means it's applicable to milk proteins dissolved in water. So that's why it worked in our milk water experiment as well. In addition to Rayleigh scattering, the sky also has Raman scattering. And Raman scattering actually changes the polarization of the light coming off of it. For example, I have a polarizer held in front of the camera here. Now watch what happens when I turn it. The amount of Rayleigh scattering is actually inversely proportional to the fourth power of the wavelength. So for example, that means the scattering of 400 nanometer light, which is towards the blue-purple end of the spectrum, is 9.4 times as great as the light at 700 nanometers towards the red end of the spectrum. So even though the wavelength is only a little bit different, the scattering is way more for blue light compared to red light. That also means the more atmosphere the sun has to go to to get to your eyes, the more yellowish red orange the sunlight will look. And so when you see the sun going through a lot of atmosphere, it looks more red and yellow. That's one of the reasons why you see those beautiful reddish orange yellow colors of a sunset, because it had to go through a lot of atmosphere near the horizon to get to your eyes. That means if there were no atmosphere, the sky would look a lot different. It wouldn't look any color. You'd just look out and be able to see the stars. So on the moon, for example, you'd be able to see the stars except for the really bright star, which is the sun. So that means if you're in space where there is no atmosphere and you look at the sun, the sun will not look yellowish anymore, but it'll just look like a white star. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified of my latest videos out. And check out theactionlab.com to get the Action Lab experiment boxes. We have the Action Lab vacuum box and the self-pouring fluid box available now. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.